Mike Tyson is coming out of retirement for his upcoming fight with Jake Paul on November 15th. In this video, we will determine the impact of various punches on a human head through using Altair radios. Our first step is to set our geometry. For the human model, we're using a thumbs dummy model, which is a publicly available model. For the boxing glove, we created a master model through typical boxing glove dimensions. Since we're using a thumbs model, it already has the mesh material contacts and properties created. Thus, for our simulation, we only need to set the boundary conditions for the boxing glove. We will first apply a contact condition between our glove and our head. Radius has various types of advanced contact, and in this case we key in a general contact that factors in stiffness and frictional effects between the glove and head. We then apply our load for our boxing glove. A boxing punch can range in velocity from 7 to 15 meters per second. For this model, we're going to simulate the punches at a velocity of 10 meters per second as a nice median range. I'm going to run three different scenarios where I change the position of the boxing glove to simulate a hook, uppercut, and jab, but all scenarios will have the same 10 meters per second velocity. Using hypermesh positioning tools, I can efficiently set the location of the glove to simulate all the different punches. The thumbs model we have applied has all of the bone and tissue materials. We just add a material to reflect the weight of the boxing glove, which for the fight will be 14 ounces. Our last boundary condition we will apply is a rigid wall to simulate the floor. With our model set up, we can now run our analysis, and with radios I can leverage multiple cores to reduce the solve time. With our simulations complete, we can now visualize results in Altair Hyperview. Hyperview has a pre-built HIC pedestrian model, which we can utilize to see the HIC number. HIC stands for Head Injury Criterion, and as the HIC number increases, it corresponds with likelihood of severe brain injury. Our first result is the jab punch, and we can see from our HIC number, it reaches a peak right in the beginning of the punch, and has a relatively high HIC number, indicating there might be a severe injury. Hyperview also allows users to filter data if needed. Specifically, users can exclude noisy values if they're running a dynamic analysis or enhance plots for visual clarity. Hyperview allows us to create multiple pages to make visualizing different simulations seamlessly. We will now look at our hook punch results. Similar to the jab punch, a high hick number occurs right after the hook's impact. And this hick number also indicates a possibility of severe injury. Our final scenario is the uppercut. With the uppercut punch, it indicates a slightly lower hick number than the hook or jabs, but it still shows a high hick number, and there is a possibility of injury. All three of these punches would be overwhelming to take. Now combine that into multiple rounds and different combinations of punches makes me glad I'm not a fighter. Through using Altair radios, we were able to set up multiple scenarios to see how the effect of different boxing punches can be. To learn more about Altair Radios or other Altair products, go to www.trueinsight.io.